It's about time. What's going on? Yo. Rumor Report. Rumor Report. This is the Rumor Report. Talk to him. With Angela Yee on The Breakfast Club. All right, well, Scarface has revealed <clears throat> some things on Drink Chance, and he said he actually had Nas rewrite a verse because on that particular song, he was dissing Jay-Z. Nas, the first verse he took was some of the stuff he laid down on Ether. Some of those lyrics. I hope your wife cook your food with a period blood. Yeah. He said it on Ether? He said that on, um, on uh, so in, in between us, yeah. And I was like, nah, we ain't gonna, you know, Nas, we can't, we can't go at cuz like that, you know, not on here. I can't remember everything that was said, but he went off. And he went and changed it? He went back and did a whole nother verse, and it was, you know, it was clean. I mean, that's God MC talking to God MC, though. So a God MC can make that call to another God MC, right? That's Correct. so crazy. So let me tell you something. Is it a problem if somebody, say you're an artist, say you're Scarface, does Jay-Z have a problem with you if Nas does a verse just in him on the Scarface track? I think it depends on the situation because Face and, and Hove are, are tight. So, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? You can't do it on my record if I'm tight with Hove. But if we're not tight and you just spitting, I got to let you go. Man. That's why you got to just do subliminals and. <laughs> All right, now. Dar- hey, hey, make sure you listen to the Ghetto Boys Reloaded podcast on the Black Effect Guy Heart Radio podcast network, too, with Scarface and Willie D. Mm-hmm. And, and Drink Champs with N-O-R-E and DJ F. All right, now, on an interview with Cocktails with Queens on Fox Soul, Fallon talks about her estranged husband, Simon, who, by the way, is now with Portia, as we all know. That's her current fiancé. And according to her, she's saying that Simon used to talk really badly about Portia. He told me that she slept with his cousin for the Rolls Royce that she has. So I just don't understand how is it that you, I'm not gonna say leave a happy home because listen, we had, like I said, we had our things, but how is it that you filed for divorce from me, from a woman that used to talk so much mess about for someone who slept with someone from your family member? Sheesh, allegedly. I mean, Real Housewives of Atlanta is very messy. I don't know what's going to happen on this new season. I don't know who's going to be on it for sure. Mind thy own affairs. <laughs> okay? Somebody tell that woman she had a tag on the back of her clothes. <laughs> that, that, thou, thou shalt mind thy own business. Jeez. Lord have mercy. All right. Well, we're not minding business in the rumor report. Now, a woman has released screenshots of her alleged conversation with Dwayne Haskins. And according to these messages, and this is all alleged, you know, she um, posts these messages where he says, I'm not petty for real. You can send me what you know I spent, but 20K, cool, respectfully. So apparently he wanted back these gifts that he sent to her, allegedly. And if they couldn't be returned, he wanted her to give him $20,000. Dwayne do, do Haskins is a football player? Yes. Yeah, you got you to gotta say who these people are. He's the quarterback for the Steelers. I think. Is he a Steelers? Steelers, Redskins? I, I don't remember. Is Steelers. Backup. Backup for Steelers? Backup for Steelers. Steelers. Okay. All right. So a gift is a gift, though. You can't say give me back the gifts because once you give somebody a gift, it's theirs. How much would he give her? He asked for these gifts back, and then if she didn't give them back, he wanted $20,000. Well, I don't y- – y'all want Envy to give back money for tickets that somebody else bought? And They're y'all... not a gift. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just trying to help the brother get no his money back. There's no refund policy on gifts. That's why they say if <laughs> no you're going to propose policy. to somebody and you do it on a holiday, like their birthday, Valentine's Day, Christmas, the ring is a present. So even if you don't get married, you don't have to give it back. That's why they always advise that you don't propose on a holiday. Just tell her it was fake. Be like, look, I gave you the fake one. Now I want to give you the real one. She's going to get it checked out. But, oh, get the ring appraised? Yeah, tell, tell her it costs 20000 to get appraised. <laughs> Stupid, man. <laughs> right. You know, I mean, the problem is that he's married, by the way. So <gasps> put that out there. You didn't say that part. You should have led with that. <laughs> <laughs> and over the weekend, it was revealed that his wife was arrested. She was taken into custody in relation to charges that she assaulted Dwayne Haskins. And so some sports fans are saying the alleged domestic violence. Oh, that's the brother yeah. who got his tooth knocked out. Yeah, she knocked oh, his tooth out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody's talking about that. That's true. I heard. I saw that. Mm-hmm. And he denied that he had problems with his dental work and he's been handling things on the home front. But while in the midst of all this, a woman is saying that he was asking for the gifts back and for the money back, if not. Thou shalt mind their own business. Mind my own business. <laughs> Thou shalt mind their own affairs. That's why I'm laughing. I don't want no she part posted, to this. She posted, Dwayne so Haskins no mad at the child. world right now. He wants the money back he spent on gifts. That's what she posted. <laughs> All right, now Soldier Boy has finally put out the Make It Clap remix featuring French Montana. Huh? 
I love French Montana, man. <laughs> Shout out to French. French don't drink no more or nothing. I seen him when I was in New Orleans. Yeah, he was filming no a more. movie. Yep. Yeah. And he doesn't drink at all anymore. Oh, He's that's good. Drinking water in the club. That's good. All Salute right. To French. Now here's a back and forth between Naomi Osaka and Megan Kelly. All right. So you know what? Naomi Osaka is on the cover of Sports Illustrated, the tennis player. Mm-hmm. She's the first Haitian and Japanese woman on the cover. She posted it. And a journalist, Clay Travis, uh, posted on his social media, since saying she's too introverted to talk to the media after tennis matches, Naomi Osaka has launched a reality show, a Barbie, and now is on the cover of the Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Issue. Well, uh, Megan Kelly jumped into this, and she posted, let's not forget the cover of an interview in Vogue Japan and Time magazine. And so she had previously criticized Naomi Osaka when she appeared on the cover of Vogue Japan last month. She said, no press, please. You see her. Her social anxiety makes it intolerable. Now, Naomi Osaka did respond to Megyn Kelly, Megyn Kelly, and she said, um, you know, seeing as you're a journalist, I would have assumed you would take the time to research what the lead times are for magazines. If you did what you would have found out, I shot all of my covers last year. Instead, your first reaction is to hop on here and spew negativity. Do better, Megyn. And then she blocked Megyn Kelly. I can't blame her. You got to block people that bring that negative energy to you. Absolutely. Yes. And I can't imagine why she would be picking on this 23-year-old tennis star who has publicly said that she's, you know, mentally taking a break mm -hmm. while she's at the top of her game. Well, it's, it's, it's not even the fact that she's picking on her because she's young. She's picking on her because she's Naomi Osaka. Mm -hmm. And she's a big star. And she's on the cover of Sports Illustrated. And Megyn knows that exactly what's happening right now was going to happen. People would be talking about her. Right. That's it. The last thing Megyn Kelly posted was, poor Naomi Osaka blocked me while taking sh a shot at me. Guess she's only tough on the courts. She's <sighs> apparently arguing she shot her many covers before publicly claiming she was too socially anxious to deal with press. Truth is, she doesn't like questions she can't control. Do, Admit it. Do we realize everybody's performing? You know, everybody's trolling. Everybody's doing these things to garner attention and bring attention to themselves. We do know this, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, well, that is your rumor report. All right, shout to Revolt. We'll see you tomorrow. Everybody else, let's get to the mix. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning.